Here you have a lovely easy pendant made with 12 malachite beads. If you want to wear this powerful gemstone, known as the Stone of Transformation, that encourages change and shows what is blocking your spiritual growth, then keep watching and learn how to bid one for yourself. Now let's make a pendant for this uh, lovely twisted uh, rope and uh, we are going to use 4 millimeter um, malachite beads, the round ones, and 11 O's. We will make also a pendant loop wide enough to allow the end of the clasp to go through. So uh, you can use uh, this uh, necklace rope for more than one pendant. For this pendant I've decided to use 12 beads because it's a magical number. It's the number of the months in a year, the number of the zodiac signs, uh, also because it's an even number from the numerology point of view, it's considered to be a receptive number, also divided by four and by three, four the number of the stability, three the number of action. So here you have a lot of symbols on top of uh, having uh, the powerful malachite beads. Here we have a number of 24 beads. For the tutorial purpose I have decided to use two colors, but you can obviously use only one. So here we have 24 beads and uh, 11 O's. It's really up to you if you want to use the round seed beads or the delicas. We close the beads in a circle and go back up through the circle a few beads away. And now we are ready for the first, uh, and I think the only one actually, row of peyote stitch. So we will add the same color on top of the color on the base. So if here we have black, I'm going to add black. just to make it easier. It's not a must for the color, but just to show you. So pick up one, skip the black, go through the red, meaning the next one. And we do this around the circle. And here we have the last one, so we have to step up as well, so we go through the red one and through the first black one that we have added in this row. And that would be the stepping up. The second row of our pendant, with the thread coming out of the bead that we stepped up through. We pick up five seed beads, so two, four, five, and go through the next bead that sticks out from our two, four, five, from our peyote row. 
and we do this around the circle. Two, four, five. Let's bead together the last stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we go up the first seed bead, the first um, peyote seed bead, and then go up through the first three seed beads in the first loop. Okay, now is the time to add uh, the malachite beads. With the thread coming out the top bead of the first loop, so the third, we pick up our malachite and we connect with the next top loop. As you see, they already pop out. So it's quite easy to connect them. And we do this around the circle. And one more. And we go through the first top bead and we close the circle in the next malachite, 4 millimeter malachite bead. Now we move the thread through the top bead towards the circle, the inner circle. Then through the two beads from the loop, through the bead from the peyote stitch, and now we move the thread forward through one of the beads that are sticking out as peyote stitch from the inner circle. So here the black sticking out would be the beads that we are looking for. In between these beads we just repeat the same loop row as we've done before. So we pick up five seed beads, two, four, five, and with the thread coming out of this one, we connect this loop with the next bead that sticks out. Pick up five, one, two, three, four, five. And we connect to the next one. Another one, one, two, three, four, five. Connect with the next sticking out bead. And we continue like this around the circle. So here we have the last loop. One, two, three, four, 
and 5. Let's have a careful look. So the thread coming out of this one and we connect with the first peyote and go up through the first three seed beads from the first loop of the row and we make sure that the thread is well tensioned now the last row is to connect the top beads with the malachite beads the way we've done actually in the previous on the previous side so go up from the first bead through the malachite bead then we find the next loop and here we have to make sure that is not twisted okay like this find the top bead and connect with the next four millimeter bead now we look for here we have the next loop the top bead good tension through the four millimeter the next loop make sure it's not twisted press it with your nail so you can have a good tension there then the next one like this the next loop just push it with the nail up one more loop the middle bead will just pop out by itself one more and we continue picking up the middle beads just around the circle And we squeeze to push the beads into the right position. And here we have the last. just pushing the beads into place and now we go around and reinforce 
Now we move the thread down one of the loops and prepare to cut the thread. We just make a knot around the thread. Here we have our pendant. The pendant loop is very easy, made with a sequence of a herringbone with two beads, large enough to allow the clasp to go through. And we start our pendant loop with four beads. go back down to reinforce and then back up when we have the tail and the working thread on opposite directions we can start our herringbone Pick up two, go down one, to the right, go back up two. Pick up two, go down one, thread to the right, back up two. And let's make about four or five centimeters and see how it will look like. Let's see how this length would go around our pendant. And it will be like this. And let's see if the... yeah. It goes through, so this is a good length for us. And to connect it, we just go, we fold it, go down like this, through one, up. Go down a few, up a few, and just reinforce this connection. Pull 
by going up to the right and then again up And if you want, you can go around the whole loop again. To make sure that the pendant loop is strong. And when you are happy, you just do a kind of a knot, how I call it. So go to the right through the next bead, only one up, and then again the next bead, one down, and then up, and this is from my point of view a knot. And we do the same with the tail. I will just weave in through the beans. And here we have our pendant. And then when we use the rope, here it is. I hope you like this. It's a very easy pendant to make. The only trouble obviously would be on the second row of loops where you have to have some patience. <laughs> Take your time. We are not going anywhere with this lockdown. So um, thank you for watching and don't forget that with our next tutorial I will show you how to make the other pendant with the six millimeter malachite beads. Thank you for watching. See you with our next tutorial.